Merry Christmas, everybody. Nice that the sun is still shining for now, at least in eastern Idaho. I'm Nate Eaton with EastIdahoNews.com. We're in Pocatello today. Brought some of Secret Santa's elves with me. We're about to surprise a guy who actually knows a little bit about being Santa Claus. His name is Stephen Grizz Andrews. Uh, let me tell you about him. He spent his entire life helping other people. He is permanently disabled, but that doesn't stop him from helping the less fortunate in his community with his time and handy expertise. He has a soft spot for the elderly and widows who might not have access or the money for contractors. He's installed countless access ramps and guide bars uh, in homes. He's fixed sprinkler systems in the summer and front doors and, win and uh, windows in the winter. Grizz and his wife Susan have been dressing up as Mr. and Mrs. Claus in homemade costumes for several years and volunteering their time at local elementary schools. They will never accept payment for this as it's not in the spirit of the season. They love Christmas. Grizz was recently diagnosed with cancer and due to his treatment he's unable to play Santa this year. This act of service is one of his favorite parts of the season and he will definitely miss it. Grizz has taught his family how important service is through his actions in the community and his extensive work helping others find their ancestors through genealogical work. On the outside, he might look like a biker, but inside he truly embodies the spirit of Christmas. He might not be able to go out and play Santa Claus this year, but we're bringing Secret Santa to him. An anonymous Secret Santa in the community wants to give him $15,000. So we've got it in two boxes. We've got $5,000 in one. We've got $10,000 in the other. We hope he's home. He has no idea who we are or that we're even coming. Let's go surprise Santa Claus. Hello. Gentlemen. Are you Grizz? I'm Grizz. Are you Santa, I should say? Well, some days. <laughs> we can't see you. Do you mind if we open the door? There you are. How you doing? Good, how are you? Are you probably wondering why we're here? Yeah. Yeah? Well, a secret Santa asked us to come and see you. We know that normally you're spending your holidays out helping others. Are you able to do that this year? Yeah. yeah? Are you able to go out this year? Or? No. Staying home? Yeah. Well, I have health issues this year. So. Oh, okay. I bet, I bet you're going to miss it. I miss it. Yeah. I missed it last year too. So. Because of COVID, probably. Well, that and the health issues. So. Yeah. Well, uh, this secret Santa, who was aware of your story, asked if we could come and bring you some early Christmas gifts. So, uh, we've got two things for you. Okay. We'd love to see you open them up. Who? Is, is Mrs. Claus here? She's up there. She's up in her painting loft. You're welcome to come oh, in. Is that all right? What a unique, beautiful home here. This is we, interesting, isn't it? Yeah, did you? Well, Santa Claus lives in a cave, you know. <laughs> Where's all the toys? He could be an too. How are you? Fine. I, I'm, I'm Nate with East Idaho News. This is Susan. Susan, Mrs. Claus. These are our secret Santa elves. So I was telling well, your- The hats match. The hats <laughs> match. <laughs> Shit about you guys, I had. You're a bit short. Oh, no. You're a bit short on whisker, other than he's got a good start. Yeah. <laughs> You're- I'm gonna open the doors too. Okay. You you uh, make the costumes, from what I understand, the yes. Santa outfits. Yeah. Yeah. How long have you guys been doing that, Mr. and Mrs. Well, Claus? I've been doing it about 30 years, and she's been doing it about 25. So. Holy smokes. Mm -hmm. And do you have the beard all year long? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've had my beard since before she knew me. <laughs> before Mrs. Claus. Before Mrs. Claus, <laughs> he had a beard. Uh, yeah. how, why do you do it? It's just fun. It's a gift. We have, this is our gift to each other. We don't to, have kids at home anymore. To go out and harass somebody else. I started kids. because the gentleman I was got started with it, he played Santa Claus for years. And he got pancreatic cancer and had booked bookings and couldn't get anybody to do it. And he says, that, you know, he was one of my best friends. And he says, if you'll go do it for me, then that would be, that would make me feel better. So I went and done it and got hooked on it. And so I've been doing it ever since. Oh, so that's great. Mostly schools and and I, I like doing schools and stuff. We, we go to Costco and kind of pass out candy canes and stuff. But. And crash parties. Yeah, and it's if we find a party that's fun. crashable, we'll crash it. But, yeah. but and everybody that, looks at each other I don't other like and says, doing usually private parties just because mm -hmm. I like to keep the element of surprise. And we've gone everywhere from Montpelier to Shelley. So. 
Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. You like the element of surprise, so that's perfect for us surprising yeah. you guys. We like yeah. it. No normal. makeup, <laughs> no red shirt. Yeah, yeah, just normal. <laughs> well, we brought you some presents. Everybody loves presents. There, Go ahead and open that first one. It's not going to jump out of here. <laughs> no, not that I know of. Oh, you guys. This is too sweet. No way! <sighs> Holy moly. Oh. Merry Christmas. This is not... Well, that might be the hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we know you Cancer. have some needs. <laughs> and we know that it's Thank been a, a rough year, so... Secret Santa. That's, that's not from us. We're just dropping it off. Wanted us to give that to you. You guys are too sweet. Oh, the public is too sweet. Yeah. This is from one person, one one guy who said take that over to them. Yeah, we're going to go November 17th to get our Christmas tree. And it sits oh up to there. It's a 17th foot tree. No. No. Merry Christmas. I don't know what to say. I don't either. Because we uh, did it just for fun. We do it because we love the kids. Oh, yes, we do. And for any kids watching, you're Santa's helpers, right? Yes, Is that, Santa's definitely. Helpers. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And sometimes... I get a report directly. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> let him know we came by today. I um, will. And yeah. let him know that... You're not on the naughty list anymore. <laughs> okay, good, good. <laughs> him <laughs> I'm not too sure about. <laughs> Tell Cam him about cameramen are always a little iffy. Isn't about. that the truth? We from? miss it. We do. I'm hoping you're oh, back out next year. Hopefully this is the last year we miss it, but we don't know for sure. Oh. So. Yeah. Well, God bless you. Merry Christmas. Oh, well, thank you. And uh, I hope your Christmas is extra merrier with that. Well, it will be now.